Hi guys, um, a lot of people have been watching some videos of mine recently and um, asked me about how to do skipping better. Now the funny thing is we put out loads of martial arts content and the videos that have done the best in the last two years are of me skipping. Um, I never considered myself great at skipping, I've just been doing it a long time. Um, no one's ever taught me really any skill sets with skipping, I've just picked things up and practiced them uh, and given them a go. So I'm just going to give you some ideas and hopefully some tips and uh, the best thing I can say is just get the right rope, I'll go through it in a minute, and get some time on it. And the more time you spend on it, the better you shall get. Okay, so first things first, you need the right rope. Now I teach a lot of kids and uh, the problem I normally get with them is that uh, a parent typically goes and buys the cheapest skipping rope they can find, which turns out to be appallingly bad. It then knots up, it does all the wrong things, and then uh, the child gets really upset and then goes home from class saying they don't like training anymore and all kinds of silly things. So you need to get the right rope. Now I have lived by these ropes in my hand for many, many years. I honestly think they are the best things you can use out there. Um, so this is called a speed rope. Um, if I can show the camera, hopefully you can see what sort of side. Now it's really old and knackered this one, um, but it gives you the idea. So it's just basically a bit of plastic, but it's weighted correctly for me. I can really skip nice and quickly with it. Uh, it never knots up. This particular one is from a company called Physical Company. So there's a shout out for them. Have a Google on them. They are local to where I am. So I think they're in Stoke and Church now. Um, so this is a speed rope from Physical Company, but there'll be lots of others like it online. All right, so first up, get the right skipping rope. Secondly, make sure it's the right sized skipping rope. You can have the best skipping rope, but if it's too long or too short, that's the next problem. And again, when I'm teaching, generally speaking, lots of kids, um, they normally have skipping ropes that are A, cheap and nasty, and B, the wrong size. So um, this one for me, I hope you can see me on the camera as I stand up. If I stand with both feet in it, then it's coming to my, kind of the, the top of my abdominal section here. All right, so if I stand here, it's about this, about this tall. Now, there's loads of guides online for which ones are the right size things to use, um, but that's the basics. So stand on it with both your feet, should come to about here with your handles you then know you're on pretty much the right path. Okay, so we've got the right type of rope, and now we've got the right size rope, so that's the first two bits. The next thing I see is that ropes knot up a lot of the time, and then people are trying to skip with a knotted up rope. And I've seen this even in martial arts cradings that we do, and I have to go around and tell people to unknot their rope. If you keep your rope knotted up for a long period of time, what happens is when you first untie it or get it out, um, it's probably gonna be all wound up. So what you need to do is hang it by the middle and let it just unravel itself. So if you're skipping and your not, rope starts knotting up because you bought a cheap one and the wrong one, um, then hang it by the middle and just get it to unwind itself, okay? Now, I've got the right type of skipping rope, I've got the right length of skipping rope, and as you can see, there's no, there's no knots in the middle, it's not all wound up and caught. So now I've got those three basics down, I am ready to start skipping. All right, so let's just start with the very basics. And I start with this with the dragons, so bear with me if you're happy with this point. Okay, all I need to do first from the youngest age is make sure the rope goes forwards over my head. I'm not trying to get my arms up and throw it down. I'm just turning my wrists as best as I can with the minimal amount of arm usage. So minimal amount of arms in order to generate the speed of the rope. So that's the first things I want them to practice. Again, this is really low level. Okay, now once the rope is going the correct way, I just want them to jump over it with both feet together. So I'm starting right from the very, very basic. So rope turns forwards, jump forwards. And if you're a young age, that's all I want you to be able to do for now, okay? Rope forwards, jump forwards, rope forwards, jump forwards. Everyone else, let's get moving on. Okay, so now the rope is going. With my feet tied together now, I'm gonna really start struggling. Now what I'm gonna do is just bounce nice and relax, not high, don't bring your knees up. Don't bring your heels up behind. You're gonna get super tired, super quick. I wanna just bounce, nice and relaxed. Not heels up. I got it wrong already, I can't do that. No knees up in front, don't wanna jump like this. Okay, save all that. Just bounce nice and relaxed. Both feet together, keep that rope turning. Once you've got that from then on, and this is the key bit, I wanna start a rhythm. One leg, other leg, one leg, other leg. Not too much, not like this. Just one foot, other foot, one foot, one foot, other foot. Okay, and that's the important bit. It's the rhythm of getting one foot, other foot. So if we're struggling now, just keep the rope in your hand, don't worry about it, okay? One foot, other foot, one foot, other foot. So I'm nice and relaxed, it's like I'm jogging on the spot. Now start practicing with the rope at the same time. Now you can do it if you're really struggling even without the rope. Just imagine you've got a rope in your hands. One foot, other foot, one foot, other foot. All the tricks and all the variations and all the cool things that we will see later on come from that basic, one foot, other foot. 
one foot, other foot. Nice and relaxed. Keep the rope turning. So let's give it a go. So get the right size rope, get the right style, style of rope, make sure it's not knotted up. Okay, so from there, nice and relaxed, one then the other. Not going too fast, but I'm not getting it wrong either now. And this is a great place to now start. So just turning the wrists, one foot, other foot. I'm super relaxed, I'm still able to talk to you. I can maintain that for a long period of time. Great, so now we've got that routine going of one foot, other foot, one foot, other foot. Then we can start speeding up and throw a few little tricks in there. All right, so let's just start changing the speed. Now I'm gonna go more into a, a, an actual jog. Then back to one foot, other foot. And keep here, if we're unhappy with the jog, just keep on this until we're better. Let's start braving it. One foot, other foot, so we're gonna speed that rope. Now try and change the speed. So we're gonna go easy jog, faster, faster. Easy jog, nice and relaxed. Faster, one foot at a time now, knees up a bit, faster. Keep changing that pace. Okay, good, so now we can, I'm out of breath. <laughs> now we can put a variation on the speed. So we've got our jog, our run, and our sprint. We get those three down, that's a great workout in itself. Start doing some cool tricks, okay? So the first one, first one I teach is just one side, other side, and back in again. It's super easy. Um, a lot of the kids, when they do it though, they tend to just stand there. And we're no longer skipping, are we? So what I try and do is both feet, you must keep moving and keep your rhythm going. And for a lot of tricks on the rope, um, you need to keep your feet moving. Don't stop to do the trick. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to skip once, handles together, one side, other side, jump. Handles, handles together. So the handles here, we must be close together, okay? And sometimes I just start the rope like this as well. So one side, other side, together. Don't just stand there doing this, we're not skipping anymore. So let's go one side, other side, skip. Okay, now I wanna keep my feet moving. As if I was jumping over that rope. So remember that routine we did earlier, one side, other side. So now I'm gonna do that whilst doing the basic trick. Feet moving. First one down. So let's put that in our routine. So now we've got jog, run, sprint, and side to sides. So let's start with that jog. One foot, other foot. Weight on one foot, the other foot. Good. Run. And also, <laughs> I got it wrong. In the run, we can go one side, other side at any time. So we can jog, one side, other side. We can run. We can sprint. Jog. Move on to doubles. Okay, so one of the biggest things that people ask me about skipping is how to do doubles uh, or double unders, commonly referred to. Um, the key here is keeping your body straight. See a lot of people trying to do this, and they find it really, really hard. So, without the rope for now, let's take it away. I want to keep my body straight and bounce using my calves. My head's going out the camera. So nice and high, nice clean bounce, body stays in alignment. Practice without the rope to start with. Imagine you've got it, you're gonna try and flick it twice. One, two, one, two. But at no point am I bringing my knees up, it's gonna go wrong, or my feet up. That's definitely gonna go wrong. Body nice and straight, so let's give that a go. Next little bits of trick are just an easy bit of footwork, just some variations on where we can go. So we've got a normal skip. What can we do? Feet together. Forwards and backwards, create little boxes. Or we can go jump chain stance. I'll uh, go one side one. I'll go other. So I can do my mini lunges or jump chain stance. Feet together. Single, single doubles. Single, single double. Single, single double. So I'm just changing that routine up. High knees. Feet together, bounce around, jump mini lunges, jumping jacks, uh, high knees. 
we've got lots of different variations that you can put into your skipping without really even changing the pace or the footwork that much as well. Okay, so now we've got lots of different routines that we can put together. Let's get our basic footwork going, then changing speeds, and then side to side, footwork, all the different things there, um, and really try and mix it up and then go for those doubles. And if you're struggling with any of those, to be honest, you just gotta keep on practicing. They're the basic tips that I would go through, but just keep on them from there. Okay, let's try crisscrossing. Um, I'm not the expert at this, I'm not the best, but the same thing I'd say here is don't panic. Don't change your footwork. Don't skip in one way and then panic in order to get the crisscross working. I see a lot of people doing this. They'll start like this, they'll go panic. And they might survive the crisscross, but realistically they won't. If you watch the best people at it, they'll just skip and they'll be chopping and changing the rope as they're skipping. But at no time did their um, footwork change. They kept on it and they're just chopping and changing that rope. So, Let's start from the very beginning with crisscross. First thing you have to obviously do is just get one down and, and sorted. So I'm going to skip normally, normal routine. I'm going to cross the rope. And then we're back into it again. One more time. So normal routine, we're going to cross the rope in three, two, one. And then we're back into it again. One more time. Remember, I did not change my footwork or panic. Okay, so keep going through it. Try and cross it over, try and survive it, and then get back in again. Once you can do that, Try and do two, try and do three, try and do four. But the key thing is that I did not change my footwork in order to get that crisscross. Okay, now you've got all the basic skills down. There's a cat, it'll run off. <laughs> um, so let's just start getting rounds and rounds of it done. Keep on practicing, keep getting time under that rope. Um, keep doing round after round. Keep relaxed, don't change that foot rhythm. And just have some fun.